When I was growing up, I lived in a family of nine, technically 11. There were nine siblings, two parents, and I was eight of nine. When I was six, I was old enough to know better, but I had a friend come over and I wanted to impress her. Since I didn't feel like my toys were that exciting, so I decided to show her my sister's <clears throat> amazing Barbie collection. She had all these beautiful gowns and holiday Barbies and princess Barbies, just with beautiful hair, all just wonderful. And my friend said, let's play barber. And this person with the spine right here didn't wanna, didn't wanna say no. So I fetched a pair of scissors and we cut all those Barbies hair to be unfixable, basically. And I felt bad about this my whole life. My sister never held it against me. She was kind, but quite heartbroken when it happened. Um, anyway, so here I am, 20 years later, basically. And I just, I've felt bad about it my whole life. Well. I go on Facebook Marketplace, and there was this person who was selling his mother's old collection. Her mother, his mother had essentially stored all these Barbies through her whole life in this storage unit, and it was costing her $200 a month, and they, she just couldn't do it anymore. And she realized as much as she loved those Barbies through her life, they weren't doing her good now. And so she had amassed quite the impressive collection. So I spent this morning going over to see this collection. He said it's only about half of what it was before. Truly incredible stuff. Um, we had things like I Love Lucy, iconic I Love Lucy moments. Vitamin de Vegemin was one I nearly bought. Um, there is King Kong, Elvis Presley, Betty and Veronica, Barbies of the World. Truly iconic and amazing quality. All in the boxes. Um, and he was selling them for quite cheap, honestly. And I may have gone a bit overkill. <laughs> I didn't buy the whole collection. That's a little too steep for me at this moment in time. But I wanted to, as a surprise for my sister, send all these Barbies. I'm so excited about them. I've been buzzed. I was kind of tired when I came back and wanted to have a nap, and I just couldn't fall asleep because I'm just so excited about these dolls. So I felt like, you know what? I'm going to document this. And she has these little girls. I know they're going to love them. So yeah, let's take a look. I was in this person's house for the better part of an hour, and I just couldn't believe how many they had. Um, I looked through boxes, just shelves and shelves of Barbies, and they were all amazing. Every single one was just something truly spectacular. There was stuff as old as when Barbie was first created. Um, and you could, it was really cool to see how the styles changed, but now you'll see, you'll see what I, I'll explain why I picked the ones I did. So we have Colonial Barbie. I think this one's really cool. Um, I'm a patriotic soul myself, and I thought it was just so cute. And I know her girls are going to love this. She has a little sampler here, and there's the a little story that comes with it um, and you can see there were other Barbies that were available along with Colonial Barbie at this time. I wonder what time period this was. It has 1994 it says. Now this one was interesting. Um, 
I was never into Avon. I it's the only my only interaction with it was from Edward Scissorhands. But this is a special Barbie commemorating the first person who was into the Avons. Um, she was a working woman in the 18, early 1800s, which is pretty impressive for the time. Um, and the reason I picked it was just, I mean, just look at her gown. Oh. Why can't I have a gown like this for me? Oh, it's so beautiful. Next we have the promenade in the park. And again, it, my reasoning for picking this is as simple as her outfit. It's just amazing. I know I would have been all over myself with joy if I had had this Barbie as a child. Um, just beautiful. Also, again, I wouldn't mind this dress for myself. Uh, if anyone has any patterns for me, that'd be great. <laughs> Um, not much of a seamstress, but I can be. Next, we have another one I picked for the dress. <laughs> but it's so shimmery and the colors are cozy. It's a lovely winter wonderland, winter classic, as they say. And of course, I had to pick a holiday Barbie. This is the Millennium Princess. For the year 2000, I remember my sister had the 2001 Holiday Barbie. I don't remember if that was one that I destroyed. If not, great, now she has a companion. So, the, that one is gold and white. Now we can have dark blue and silver. And again, I'm a sucker for good dresses. Just gorgeous. Now we're getting to more sentimental. We are obviously blondes in the family, and we loved Legally Blonde growing up. <laughs> uh, Bruiser, I think, is down here. <laughs> uh, I think he fell out of whatever he was supposed to be in. Might have been in the bag. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? I don't know how they originally packaged him, but he's in there. And... Yeah, we are Elle Woods fans in this place, so I said, yes, I'm gonna have to get this one for my Weekly Blonde fan friend. Next, I love reading and I love children's books and it's just adorable. I am sorry. Curious George. And again, I would love this outfit. <laughs> oh my goodness, and it's so cute. What happened to Barbie? It feels like they haven't made anything like this in a long time, but so cute. All right, just a couple left. We are big Sound of Music fans. Well, my family grew up watching musicals, but What's specifically interesting about buying this for my sister and her kids is that last year she showed them Sound of Music for the first time and they just played it over and over. They dressed up, they would run around and march and one after one, one after the other in the backyard and they would sing all these songs and so I feel like this was the correct choice for our family. Now, we weren't necessarily Swan Lake or Barbie fans growing up. We didn't watch the Barbie films or go to ballets, but I think this is just such an iconic Barbie that I had to get it. It's just amazing. I love the feathers and the tool. And you can see some of these have stands, so I do wonder if my sister will put these aside and allow her kids to play with them under supervision. It's not really 
my business. I just want them to enjoy these. I think this is gonna be such an insane pre uh, present. I think they'll be really excited to open these. And then the last one, as far as from this collector that I bought for my siblings, or my, my sibling, is the Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. You can see she has her shiny ruby slippers. And of course, Toto. Oh my goodness, I love little Toto. I just, I think it's so cute. And I'm not 100% sure she's shown her kids this film yet, but if she hasn't, now's the time. <laughs> and I ended up buying one for myself. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this for my kids. I wanna eventually get a bunch of the Barbies of the world, but I think they're so cool. It's a lot like the American Girl dolls teaching about cultural differences and other places in the world. And I love Scandinavian culture. And she's just got the Brunad and look, I think that might be, is that Yggdrasil on her medallion? What is that? Someone smarter than me, let me know. <laughs> and yeah, I love this. She's gonna hang out up here in the meantime, since I don't really have storage space. She's gonna hang out with Poe. I got this for um, our Kung Fu Panda marathon from a thrift store. You know, I'm, I'm high classy. I can't even talk. I'm classy that way. <laughs> Now, the thing that started all of this, though, was I had gone to a thrift store with some friends, and I had told them about what I had done, this horrific thing I had done to my poor sister, and I mentioned how one of the dolls had been a really nice uh, special edition Snow White. I know this is not a special edition Snow White, but I feel like the sentiment is there, and it's pretty cool. Uh, Yeah, so I thought that would be a good addition. Anyway, so that's what got me started on this whole search for nice Barbies, because then I felt guilty that this wasn't as nice as her Snow White had been. And so, yeah, here we are. That is so cute. That is so cute. Did you hear Jack? What do you say? He was just like... <laughs> what do you guys see? I think it's so pretty. It's good. <laughs> and she said, let's play Barber. <laughs> and we destroyed all of her Barbies. And I, bad. I felt bad for so long. So I wanted to make it up to her 20 years later. <laughs> know that story, not <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. sure you remember your Barbies being destroyed, though. That is, yeah. Jack? Maybe we should take this to another room. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you had the other one from that year. You had the gold and silver one. Yeah, mine, yes, I'm trying to, I feel like there might have been red on that. Or yeah, I, I would probably go Before we open anymore, can you go put these in the pot? Where you can't reach them? Yeah, You're getting a little peek into my life, aren't you? For decades. No. Oh, that is cool. It's, it's yeah. Did you know that they were obsessed with that? Yeah, that's why I picked it. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is like, do we open these up or do we keep them collected? You can play with them. I think it's sad that those poor Barbies have been in those boxes for so long. <laughs> okay, that one wins all the Barbies. <laughs> no. 
It's my turn. Who wants to record me? I hold that Juniper, you're gonna pull Zanz off. What is it? What is it? What is it? I don't know what it is. What is it? What is it? Oh, oh. oh. that's so cool. Okay. That one's kind of like an American girl doll, but and it comes with a little book inside with the story. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see, how many do we have left? Plenty more. There are so many. I think there's enough for each person to open up another one. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Legally blonde. That's I, so cool. I knew I had to get that one for you. Bruiser's in there too. He fell out of the the basket. <laughs> Ew, I don't know. Oh, so you gotta open this one's interesting. You have to open the front. Okay, we have to open the front. Oh, I see. Okay. Whoa, look at her puff sleeves, girl. <laughs> I like your sleeves, they're real big. <laughs> look at the hat. Marilla. Look at the puffs. They're ridiculous. You'll have to turn sideways to get through the doors. I like your sleeves. They're real big. Oh, oh this no. one's not a Barbie, but this is for the girls. That looks so funny. Okay. Maybe that's the winner of all. <laughs> she looks so cute. Oh. For a second, I was like, ooh, it's almost like my favorite lady. Oh, wait. This is my favorite. That's my favorite one. She's so pretty. I can't believe I forgot that one. It's not my fair lady, but it basically could be. <laughs> and I, love that I want that outfit for me. Oh, me too. Her, so I love the umbrella so much. I wonder if you can open the umbrella. That was my first thought too. I'm gonna open it so I can see if it'll open or not. Mom. Okay. Can you can you can mm, I wanna like keep them nice for a little bit, maybe like a week, and then I can open them. Please. All right, guys. Now let's look at all the Barbies lined up, and I want everyone to tell me which one is their favorite. Now we're gonna let Jackie go first. Jackie. Everyone get that. Get that. What? Jackie, which one's your favorite? Tell me which one do you like the most. Which one do you like the most? Jackie. All right, never mind. My wait, no. <laughs> Look, watch. Watch. Mom, I can do it. Too. Okay. Jackie, which one's your favorite? Which one? Which one is it, Jackie? <laughs> uh, I'm the favorite. All That's right. the correct answer. Of course. Hey, that's Logan's favorite too. Oh, really? Uh huh. <laughs> All right, uh, Juniper, show me your favorite. This one, this one, um, this one, this hey, one. Pick one favorite. <laughs> I have this one. I have Green Gables. Yeah, but also the door. Okay. All right, Ruby, show us your favorite. <gasps> Oh, this Swan Lake. Yeah. She has a really cute dress. Yeah. Me? I have a favorite. favorite. Okay. Like this one. The current colonial. Yeah, that one. And this one. And this one. And Swan Lake. Okay. No one said Maria, huh? I was going to say that one is my favorite. Or Dorothy. Gosh, I can't pick. Basically, all the ones that look legit. Like this one or um that one because I really want to wear that. So oh, bad. <laughs> that one I love. Oh, I can't even pick. Thank you so much, Lindsay. We're gonna You're have welcome. so much. 
Well, imagine how hard it was for me to pick out of the many from this person's collection. They had so many cool ones. Oh my god. Oh Daniel <laughs> Jones. Oh wow. <laughs> like, oh boy, more things in my house. <laughs> just one. Um uh, it's the Dow with Curious George. I kinda like that. <laughs> um, it's the lady what's her in the name? yellow hat. The lady in the yellow hat. <laughs> What? I wish I could do that. <laughs> She's always doing stuff like that. I'm like, fuck her. <laughs> Ruby, can you do your Adata Ada thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, everyone get back. Oh, I know. Woo! Thank you. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>